Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Air Kitty. All right, so I have another Fisher Price game for you. We thought we were done with Wild Western Town. Oh no, it's not over. It is definitely not over. We have more. So, um, do you want to play Great Adventures by Fisher Price Castle, or do you want to play Great Adventures by Fisher Price Castle? Yeah, great marketing scheme. So, Ray Adventures Castle is what we're playing next, but uh, contrary to popular belief, we'll say, I don't know if it really is popular belief, but contrary to such, these are not the same games. These are not the same ones. This isn't, like, this one right here, like, obviously it's from the Learning Company, and the Learning Company I've known, um, like, with the Reader Rabbit series and stuff like that. For me, I know them very well for releasing older games, like, you know, when newer operating systems come out. They would re-release uh, a lot of their games on the newer consoles, or the newer operating system, so that, you know, they stayed relevant. Which, granted, is a great marketing scheme. Because, honestly, it helps with the preservation of these games. That's not what happened here, though. <laughs> So this right here is the original, and as you can tell, it's because it is made by Davidson, who I believe, when I did the research after the Wild Western video, they were bought out by another company called Knowledge Something. I don't remember the name exactly, sorry. Who I think owns the learning company at the time, or was the learning company. There wasn't a lot of information. Trying to connect the dots for the best I can. Don't judge. But so, Davidson released this game. And this is the game that I remember most. This is the one that I had as a kid. Then for some reason, the learning company went ahead and released this. But this is not the same game. This actually it has some similar characters. Like, I believe the king is the same. But the premise and the storyline is, is completely different. Not the same villain, not the same setting, I think, in some way, but apparently it's not the same game. I bought this game thinking that it was. Fired up my computer, started it up, and I was like, this is not the intro, I remember. Where's the jester guy that helps me out and everything? And what the heck is going on? Then somebody uh told me or rather i found it four minutes or something like that when i was looking they're like oh no the game you want is the 1995 version yeah but basically i bought two games from well not the exact same company but the fisher price company with the exact same name like legit right down to the freaking letter the exact same name and the only way to distinguish them is through date. I really hope Fisher Price hired some uh, new people in marketing <laughs> since the 90s <laughs> because this is atrocious. <laughs> when it came to my Wild Western video, it came to this. <laughs> this is atrocious. <laughs> it makes for a funny laugh 20 years later. But my god. <laughs> Let's put that one aside for right now. We will come back to that one. We're not going to tackle it today, because obviously it deserves a whole video on its own. Let's go to the one I actually remember. The 1995 version. And so now, looking at the back, obviously we get a little synopsis. And it says, The magical Fisher-Price kingdom has been besieged by King Smudge and his nasty knights. Can the mighty Macduff round up six good knights from the village, free M King McBeard from his dungeon, and restore happiness to the enchanted land? With thy help, he surely can. Along the way, kids will encounter, I think it's supposed to be Eli, the, the wizard, in his magic cave, share hearty laughs with a jester, and flex their creative muscles as they help Macduff plot strategy, make decisions, vanquish the nasty knight, and save the day. 
doesn't that just sound like a wholesome story? And it was one of those things I never realized as a kid, but every single one of these characters has Mick at the front of their name, pretty much, except for obviously the Jester and the villain. Villains. But uh, again, just like with Wild Western Town, there is a label on the front that says suitable for all ages. And it's even better. They lower the age, the upper age limit to five. Fisher Price? Really? Really? So, I think I was a little older when I started playing this, just because obviously that's about the time I got into computers. I mean, I was about five actually when I got into computers and I started learning like about computer games and, you know, the internet, and getting into all that. But I can tell you right now, I had a tough time with this. So again, just like Wild Western Town, uh, there are some educational benefits, again, that I was supposed to be learning. And I guess this one actually probably had better educational les lessons. And I'm already starting to like how they are laying out the back of the box. Which I find very funny because I think Wild Western Town came out after this. So, what the heck happened in market? Some of the educational benefits encourages role play and storytelling. Okay. Yeah, I, I can get by some, you know, I can get behind some, you know, role playing and storytelling. You know, I, I tell some stories myself, that's what I do strengthens memory skills definitely that because i keep forgetting things fun fact as a as an adult kids forget some stuff even at 26 supports creative exploration i don't remember too many creative games in this but i think that they're trying to kind of more promote like creative thinking not so much like creativity and like arts and stuff like that but maybe they are i don't know i don't remember all the games roads planning and goal setting okay i can believe it because legitimately that's what you have to do you have to go around and find six nights wild western town was a point and click game but this is probably more true to that point and click adventure game think of where it's like literally like okay I can't do, I think, I, as far as I can remember, it was like, you know, I can't do this until I go get this item, then I need to come back and do this. And one of the screenshots on the back, you can kind of see it like that, where it's like, oh, someone's saying that they need chili pepper, um, but in order to get the chili pepper, you need a radio, and in order to get the radio, you need this. So it does kind of play on that. So I, 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 I'll give it to them. Enhanced decision-making skills. Okay, teaches shapes, sizes, and colors. I do actually remember that. So there actually is a mini game where that is a objective. So yep, builds early computer skills. Now see, that would have been a skill that I would put on the Western game because it's a computer game in the early nineties. Us kids from you know the millennial, and then pinning it more down to the like the sub generation of the net generation, which is the kids that were born in the 80s and 90s who were growing up with the internet, that is the main skill there that we would have been learning, which we did. Some of the highlights of the game, loaded with music, digitized speech, cinema quality art and animation, and fun sound effects. Now, obviously, I've loaded this game up to test it, and I can actually say from the intro bit, for obviously comparing it to like what it was at the time, not comparing it to modern day games necessarily, but comparing it to games of its time, it actually has pretty good animation and art. Not only are the colors really vibrant and the animations are really smooth, even for my computer, my computer being a new computer, so you think it would chug a little bit, having to process something that old, still plays perfectly fine, as well as the fact that the backgrounds are actually quite detailed. I would probably say maybe even more detailed than um, Wild Western Town. There's an entire kingdom in which to explore, take risks, and play. Yeah, I mean, because back in the medieval days, the biggest risk you could take was walking under someone's window. 
you don't know when that uh, crap pot's coming out <laughs> and going to be thrown on your head. Amusingly animated characters guide your child through eight interactive play areas. I do love how they say that there are like the number of interactive areas. Because I can definitely tell you in Wild Western Town, they had something like six interactive areas. But it definitely was more than six. There was at least 20. I'm counting areas like, you know, when the screen changes and it goes to a different, you know, plot of area or something like that. Or like, you know, the screen phases out and comes back in. This one kind of gets me. And it's funny. Exciting 256 color graphics. Now, granted, obviously, back then, that was a big thing, having 256 colors. It was like Disney discovering Technicolor and being like, oh, my God, my animations are going to be, like, world-changing. Buy it now. We need to become the world leader that we are in 2020 because that's what's going to, it's just going to happen. It needs to happen now. That's what 256 was like. It was like Disney would discover Technicolor. I don't know if I made that obvious, but that's what it was. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I went through the user manual. The, the user manual. I went through the user manual. And there's not much that's really exciting, I guess. They do obviously do a little synopsis of what you're going to do. But, obviously, we're going to play the game and we're going to get an intro for that. So, what's the point? Uh, the only thing I will say about this case, though, and... One thing I think is probably the funniest is the review by PC Gamer in August of 1996. If the value of a software package rests in its durability, that is, its ability to engage a child over and over again, then Fisher Price's Great Adventure Castle is a masterpiece. I love how they use the word durability because it almost sounds like they're not even talking about the game. They're just talking about the case like, yeah, you can use this as a Frisbee and it won't break. Or even the CD itself. It's like, yeah, you know what? Use, use that instead of, you know, Ninja Stars. It'll do the job just fine. And it will actually. So don't throw CDs. I had that happen to me as a child. Don't do it. Almost got my eye taken out. Legitimately. I had a scar right here for like three weeks. Anyways, let's get going. Choose your adventure. Click here to find all the good nights. Or click over here to find only two good nights. Well, as Fisher Price keeps wanting to tell me, I'm not a baby. So I'm going to find all the good nights. Like the responsible adult I am. But see, this is gorgeous. Like, even for a 90s game. Oh. Look out! This adventure started when these guys, King McBeard's bad brother, King Smudge, and his band of naughty knights showed up. They climbed up to the castle. While we were in the throne room, suddenly Comics. these ponies attacked us, took over the castle, and kicked me and the king's good knights out. Bad King Smudge stole King McBeard's crown and threw him into the dungeon. King McBeard was left all alone. The kingdom was in an awful mess, so I went to McDuff for help. Duff. McDuff, I'm Jester, the king's helper. <laughs> McDuff, you must find King McBeard's knight and rescue him from the castle dungeon. Here, show the knights this royal seal and they will follow you. Have no fear. I will find the good knights and rescue King McBeard. Where did he go? Jester! Hello again. If you need me for help, click on the hat over here. 
Good luck. I am so happy that with the McDuff character they went with like a Yeah, I don't know either McDuff. It's just weird. But uh I'm glad that they went with a trying to Ladies one. and gentlemen, the tournament is about to begin. Oh, there's a tournament. We'll go to what it later. A tournament. Maybe I can find a good night there. Cool. But I'm glad that they went with like a Scottish accent, in a sense. Also, does it I love when you see this you see this a lot of times again like in older games too. And they have the main character on the front of the C D, but they don't look anything like it in the game. Yeah, apparently McDuff was supposed to be blonde. And he's got red hair. Uh let's instead go here. Hey, that's pretty cool. McDuff on a skateboard. Hello! He can't hear McDuff because it's too loud! You must find enough good night so the blacksmith will hear them! I guess we can't go here. Goodbye. Does the thing go anywhere? Okay, the fountain doesn't do anything. Also, it's never explained who McDuff really is, because it's like, they're like, I've got to go find McDuff! But it's like, okay, what is this, who, what is the significance of McDuff? Like, was he a retired knight? Like, is he just a hero of some other land, like of Scotland, maybe? No one knows. Let's, uh, go to the, the hotel. Are there known as a tavern? Good workout, bud. Did you see two naughty knights chasing a good knight? <laughs> the king's royal seal. Oh, there is a knight hiding in a secret place. To find him, you must first find the missing stones and then fit them into the right spots above the fireplace. Hmm. I wonder where those stones are hiding. The seal, though, made sense. I was questioning that at the beginning, like, why a seal? Now I see it. I'm guessing they're... Are they in this room? Is that what he's telling me? Oh, there's one. That stone won't fit above the fireplace. Not like that. Use your noggin, man. Flip it, then it goes in the square. We need that stone. Yes, we do. Oh, um. Wait, are you okay? Okay, he, he's okay. Um. We must find the missing stones. Yeah. Star of David? No, no, that's the wrong stone. Bleah. That will work. What do you say if I put it in the or try to put it in the circle? It doesn't fit there. McDuff was not necessarily hired for his brain. It looks like. Uh, so. I Okay, so I searched there, so I think the only last... Okay, yeah, that's the last one. We need that stone. Jackpot! Well done! Oh, I hate when that happens. I'm Macduff. Who are you that is belcheth from the mouth of a wall-mounted boar? I'm the good knight, Sir Mount, and I bet you can't do this. Magnificent! You must help me rescue King McBeard from the castle dungeon. Count me in! Goodbye, McFadden. We're on a rescue mission. Good luck rescuing the king, laddies!
I'll wait at the blacksmith's until you find all the knights. Where can the other knights be? I have a few questions. Um, how does that knight know to trust me? I didn't show him the seal. I didn't just like, you know, like, do you trust me now? No, he just very trusting. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the tournament is about to begin. Wow, a tournament. Maybe I can find a good night there. Okay, let's just follow this along. It seems like they want you to do this in some sort of order. Wow, look at that whirlpool. Look at that whirlpool, man. Wait. Hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Voila! And you are? I am the good knight, Sir Cyclone. Sir Cyclone, join me on my mission to rescue King McBeer from the castle dungeon. You got ID? Uh -huh. The Royal Seal? Of course, I, Sir Cyclone, shall assist you with my special skill. Smashing! I'll spin off to the blacksmiths and wait for your return. <laughs> the tournament is about to begin. I almost forgot about the tournament. Let's go. Wait a minute. There, there is something staring at me here. Oh. Hello. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a monkey. That's a monkey. What were you saying about the owl? That's not a good night. <laughs> That's not a good night. Okay. I do remember always getting Cyclone. Anything else? But it's probably because he's the easiest one to get. You just look at him. Let the games begin. Gentlemen, hit the target twice to win. Select a cannonball and then choose a number on the cannon to fire. Ready? Go. That's it. The cannon needs a cannonball to fire. Gonna guess. Cannonball number three. <laughs> and let's do three for this. Well, that should do it. Don't play with fire, kids. Good shot. Number one, cannon boy. <laughs> nice. Cannonball number one. So wait, I had tried one. Wait, he tried one as well, and it didn't work. Here goes nothing. Number two. Oh. Oops. Uh. Oh no, he did a two. Three, cannon boy. Oh, I almost feel really bad for him. Maybe there's like a really deep backstory to this where he's like, he's only bad because like everyone underestimated him, underestimated him. And so therefore like he's like really hurting inside. Wait. Number two, cannon boy. Wait, why did he go? Oh, shucks. He almost said the S word. Cannonball number two. Okay, let's just do this. Uh. 
Good choice. Glad to know that they uh confirm it before it even shoots. Oh nice. Totally awesome. We have a winner. I never win. Never, never, never. You're pretty good with that cannon. Thank you, and who are you? I'm Sir Shield in hand. I need your help to rescue King McBeard from the castle dungeon. <laughs> it's the royal seal. I'm in your command. Oh, well, if I could have just... Why didn't I just do that from the start? I'll hang out at the blacksmith's until you need me. Where can the other knights be? Mm. Wow, that was... Weird. I actually felt bad for that other night. Like, I actually really did feel bad. Oh well. Stop. We're going to the bazaar. For the marketplace. Yuck, a slimy squid. Trade that slimy squid at one of the tents. Keep trading until you get the night. Good luck. I've got to trade this squid right now. Leave your castle smelling flower fresh all day long with flowers. Bowling balls on sale. Stinky fish, stinky fish over here. Now you too can have that brand new squid you always dreamed of, right here. Knights, get your red hot knights right here. So, but it almost looks like. Check out my bowling ball. Destroy household odor with a bouquet of flowers. I don't like you. Oops. Get your stinking fish here. I don't want that. Get the night of oh. dreams. House broken squids. Let's make a deal. Sure, take this. Cool. Okay, Howie Check Mandel. My bowling ball. All right, give the flower to this guy. Will you trade with me? Okay, here you go. Thanks. Get your All right. Fit. Let's make a deal. <laughs> okay, here you go. Thank you. Get the night of your dreams. Better House come with a white squids. horse. How? No thanks. What do you mean, no thanks? Here's your stinking fish. Uh, sorry, we're closed. No, you're not. You're wide open. Oh, so I am. Sorry, my fault. Help me rescue King McBeard from the castle dungeon. Ah, uh, the royal seal. I will be honored to help. Go to the blacksmiths and wait for me there. Adios. I have some questions. Is that like the the long lost son of Elastigirl? Like, is that a, is that a child that we just didn't talk about, or is that maybe Jack? Jack, Jack. No. Questions will never be answered. I feel like this is going by a lot faster than I thought it would be. Hello? 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 I am Eli, the kingdom's greatest wizard. <coughs> A good knight is hidden here. Play on my magic crystals and he will appear. Can you repeat this sound? Good. Now try these two after me. Well, I'm glad I bought a new mouse. 
that's right. If you get the next three crystals, I'll give you the good night. Good. Awesome. Here's your good night. Awesome. I'm McWiz. Look what I can do. Oh, uh oh, oh. Very funny. The royal seal. The, the, the king must have sent you. Well, let's go. Thanks, Eli. You bet. Okay, so I think that's all six nights. I'll be at the blacksmith's until you need me. I have one more night to find. Where can he be? <whistles> Try asking the blacksmith. Oh, wait, now we can go to the blacksmith and ask? Okay. Will he hear me now? No need to shout. When did you all get here? Sir Blacksmith, we're on a mission to rescue King McBeard. Have you seen the last good night here? Wait, where are you going? I'll be back. All right, uh, Schwarzenegger. I'm Sir Liftalot, the buff, King McBeard's strongest knight. Ah, the last good night. All right, everybody ready? Ready, ready sir. No, you're not. You're all missing half your shield, chaps. <laughs> Keep your armor on. I'll get the other shield halves for you. <whistles> this suits a cyclone. This one? I'm McWiz. <laughs> Sorry, partner. Wrong choice. I'm Sir Shield in hand. Senor, I am Elasto. I'm Sir Mount, the Super Climber. Yes! Magical shield powers, activate. This must be Elasto's. Good one! Last year, you kind of freak me out a little bit, but you know what? This I like you. Belongs to McWiz. Good match. This shield half matches Sir Mount's. Nice one. This piece of shield in hands. Okay, I was wondering what Sir Mount's was because I was like, it almost just looked like it was like. Two like whips or something like that. It's like it's not thing climbing. I do feel bad that last one because it just has an E. That's it. Nothing like nothing else to indicate who he is. That's better. To the castle. We're off to go. You know, cause some trouble. Start some crap up. Company, halt! Men, stand by to attack the castle! <laughs> Sir Liftalot, stop those boulders! Liftalot ain't really doing much. Jester! <laughs> Click on one of the good knights to do something! Cyclone, I want to see you do this. I am Sir Cyclone. Oh, crap, don't get it wrong. Okay. Good thing I'm pumped up. Excellent, Buff Knight. Sir Mount, climb the walls and lower the bridge. Wait a minute. Who just sits there? You're in my 
my way, weasel! <laughs> Come on, laddies! Yikes! Sir Cyclone, blow him away! I think I actually do remember this one toy. Uh, surprisingly, on the case of this game, it does not say it's based off a toy, but it is actually a toy, I believe. I think one of my other cousins had it, though. Slime him! Sir Shield in hand! Shield us from that slime! I don't want to know what that slime's made out of. Here goes. McWiz, whiz into the castle. Just as like flaccid little one, just. I I don't want I don't want you to play with it. Not before you go into the castle. Do that later. <laughs> Elasto, charge ahead and meet me at the castle dungeon. I'll see you inside, Macduff. Oh, his head. Ready or not, here I come. Uh-uh, not ready, not ready. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Love how one guy's just like GTF so out of there. <laughs> King Smudge, give us the key to the dungeon. <laughs> McWiz, zap King Smudge with your mightiest magic. Duff, why are you just sitting there in that b-boy stance? We need McWiz, the magic knight, to help us now. I am next. I'm Sir Lift a lot. Thank you for breaking the fourth wall and just completely ruining the plot, Elasto. How, how about that? But we still need the key. Fear not, good knights. Elasto, the king is waiting. You are the key to opening the dungeon. I would be honored. You are quite literally the key. We did it! Macduff and the good knights freed the king. Macduff returned the crown to King Macbeard's head. King McBeard was so grateful, he knighted McDuff. So apparently I wasn't a knight before. We celebrated our victory. The end. And then it just exits. Okay. All right. So that was Great Adventures, Fisher's or by Fisher's Price Castle. I don't know. It was great to relive the memories. Because not only did I remember, oh yeah, like, like all these games, mini games that were there. But on top of that, like, I was like, oh yeah, I remember that there was like a little castle and stuff like that. I think that one of my cousins had or, you know, something like that. And I remember playing, it, playing with it when we were younger. I remember like, you know, Finding all these like little nooks and crannies. And I think that's what I really like about kids' toys is finding all these nooks and crannies secrets in them. But I'm not gonna lie, it, it doesn't really feel like that there was much there. Like Wild Western Town, I feel like had more to it than this game did. Now that could be that because the objectives, rather the collectible things, there's three more of them in Wild Western Town. But you would think with a game that was like, oh, you need to do critical thinking in order to get the collectibles instead of, you know, Wild Western Town where it's like, oh, we, you know, you're just clicking on everything on the screen and hope to God you find them. Like, you don't even need to do the minigames for them. 
you would think there would be a lot more there, but there really wasn't. Now, the animation of the art was charming, and it was very well done. I'm actually very impressed with this being one of the older Fisher Price games, probably the oldest one, that it ran so perfectly. Because with Wild Western Town, many of the animations didn't run correctly. So I'm impressed with that feat by itself. But I'm feeling a little dissatisfied with how that game went. You, you could definitely see some uh, things that they're trying to do with McDuff, like in making it seem more relatable to kids from the 90s. Like, you know, the skateboard and like the b-boy stance and everything. It was kind of cringy, but it was kind of funny at the same time. But yeah, no, I, like, obviously I picked Finding All the Good Nights because I thought, like, oh yeah, no, like, like, it would be a good full-length game. But no, it's just kind of sad and depressing now. So I guess, in some ways, it now makes me wonder if this one kind of uh, fixed what this one did. Not necessarily saying it padded out longer, but I am wondering if maybe possibly this one might be a little bit more fun. Who knows? We'll save that obviously for another day, but yeah. Regardless though, I'm glad I have it. You know, maybe one day when I have kids or maybe, maybe cousins, when they are like, hey, you want to play a game? I'll give them that. And see how they do. I feel like that they may like it. You know, having magic and knights and saving the day. So, I don't know. We see. But until then, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.